All right, w welcome back in to a special edition of Good Day Alabama Extra. We are at the Alabama National Cemetery. You're now listening or looking at the musical selection part of this ceremony. Still ahead in this is the wreath laying. And that's going to be where one of the friends of Good Day Extra uh, is going to be participating. We've introduced you many times to Mr. George Hamilton. He is of Pleasant Grove. He survived the April 27 uh, tornadoes, as you might recall. But he also survived World War II as a member of the U.S. Navy out in the Pacific. He remembers his friends, his colleagues on this day that we remember the fallen heroes. Very emotional morning yes, for everybody. Can you talk about what Memorial Day means to you, George? Memorial Day means to me very much. It reminds me of all the brave heroes. The heroes are here, not the ones, of, not us that they call heroes because we're still walking around. They gave their lives for this country and it's still the best country in the world. Yeah, you're going to be uh, laying out the Navy wreath. What does that mean to you to represent it? Something you've done before. Something I've done before. It's a very emotional moment in my life to do that. It's something that uh, I'm very proud to be participating in. As Pam Nicola uh, uh, that's in charge, she's a very wonderful person and. She gives us all we need to know during the year. And it's just, again, it tells me who the heroes are, the ones who gave their lives, the ones who, I sailed on a ship. Some of those people sailed on a ship, but they didn't come back. And they're the heroes. Yeah, it's an important day for you to represent and honor those that are no longer there. Yes. There's so few of you who have been out in the Pacific that that were out there during World War II. And we're getting fewer every day. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the rate is now, but it's not as high as it was because not as many of us left as mm -hmm. there was. And it's just an honor at any time I can represent those people and make sure that the younger people that do not uh, forget them. And uh, as, a, as a sideline, I'm going to Normandy, and the children at Normandy know about our veterans. The teachers will tell you they teach their children to teach their children so they won't forget. Yeah. So June 6th, you're going to be back over there once again, seeing the flags next to, next to the, uh, each marker for each person that's laid to rest here. What does that symbolize to you? That, uh, again, reminds